KVGC News Times, now seven minutes after the hour. Time for a look at the news. It's the 19th day of April for 2021. Well, California saw a second straight month of growth following a roller coaster of a year due to the unpredictable coronavirus pandemic. The unemployment rate in the state dropped from 8.5% in February to 8.3% in March. According to a report out Friday by the state's Employment Development Department, the Golden State added 119,600 jobs. In the mother load, Amador County declined from 7.9% in February to 7.4% last month. Calaveras dropped from 6.6% to 6.3% in March. All but one of California's 11 industry sectors joined or gained jobs last month. Restaurants and hotels accounted for more than half of the 260,000 jobs that have been added in the state since February. Well, Calaveras fire crews rolled out Saturday just before noon to reports of a two to three acre escape debris burn. The fire burning off Costa Road near Miller Road, or excuse me, Miller Ranch Road in the Mountain Ranch area. Crews stopped the forward progress around 4.30 in the afternoon, but not before the fire had threatened two structures and grown to 15 acres in size. Crews remained on scene working toward full containment, mopping up for several hours. Cal Fire, along with Calaveras units, fought the fire. And Amador County has now transitioned into using the MyTurn platform to register for the COVID-19 vaccine. The next clinic is scheduled for Friday the 23rd. To register for an appointment, visit the MyTurn website, myturn.ca.gov. This clinic will use the Moderna vaccine due to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention placing Johnson & Johnson single dose on pause. Eligibility for these clinics include those 18 years and older who live or work in Amador County. Please be advised that appointment slots are limited. The upcoming clinic will be held at the Health and Human Services Building located on Conductor Boulevard. Just drive around the back and follow the, uh, follow the instructions. To register for an appointment, again, visit myturn.ca.gov. Well, a measure that would combine California hunting and fishing licenses has passed its first hurdle, now on its way to the Senate Appropriation Committee for an official hearing. If passed, Bill 460 would do the following, beginning in 2024, allow Californians and non-residents to purchase a combined hunting-fishing license rather than having to purchase both licenses separate. Make the newly created combo license valid for 365 days from the date of purchase and require the state to establish an optional automatic renewal and payment process for the combined license. Now, currently, other nearby states, including Arizona, Nevada, and Oregon, already offer combined hunting fishing licenses, which have proved popular and have helped introduce new people to both sports. SB 470 is a bipartisan bill. Caltrans will begin a major project this week that will restore driving surfaces on several bridges at various locations in Amador and Calaveras County. The project will continue into the fall. One-way traffic control will be employed, and motorists should expect 10 to 15-minute delays. Now, the $755,000 project is funded by Senebill SB1, the Road Repair and Accountability Act of 2017. Now, crews will restore surfaces with the polyester concrete overlay and replace joint seals and treat the decks at uh, several locations. Highway 4 at Six Mile Creek Bridge, Highway 12 at Hop Creek Bridge, Highway 26 at the Middle Fork McCallamy River Bridge, Highway 49 San Antonio Creek Bridge, the North Fork of the Calaveras River Bridge, and Highway 88 at the West Fork Carson River Bridge. Now, this work is subject to change due to traffic incidents, weather availability of equipment, and so forth. And for the safety of workers and other motorists, always slow for the cone zone. And Carbondale Road will be closed this week, today through Thursday, between Michigan Bar and Maxwell Road for replacement of railroad crossing by Union Pacific Railroad. 
your alternate route or detour will be Michigan Bar, Maxwell Road. Again, full closure of Carbondale between Michigan Bar and Maxwell. And the City of Jackson and George Reed Company will be performing a major road improvement project in the city Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, areas impacted will include tomorrow, Hoffman, Stasel, and Summit Street. And on Wednesday, Summit, Kearney, and Court Street. Now, if you live in those areas, uh, there will be you will be allowed to uh, access, but if you do not live in the areas, please use an alternate route. If you have any questions, give the city of Jackson a call. And that, my friends, is a look at local news on a gold country Monday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day to visit our website. That's kvgcradio.com.